We were born in Korea. Sorry to bother us. Are you okay? Oh, you're good. You're good. Is everything okay over here? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're doing good. Wait, what was the question again? I was born in Korea. We moved to Canada. We moved to Dallas in 2016. And yeah, I love living in Dallas. It's, it's a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to my friend's house. We're gonna throw a bullpen. We're gonna throw um, that right after my pen. We get some arm care work done by uh, my guy, Dr. Winfield, AKA the Velo Dog. It's the plan right now. Is that his house? Yes, yeah, his house. Right it looks like a castle. Look, he is, bro. She's got a pen today. Yeah, we got a little pen today. You ready, Ryan? Not a very good basketball player. He thinks he's tall, but he's short. So. How tall is MJ? <laughs> like 5'6", five, 5'7". Six, five, Wait, clean some six, six, six one, you know? All right, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, five eleven, five eleven. You, you heard it here. <laughs> oh, it's, it's pretty light. Hold How often you come here? Uh, every once in a while. Oh, like once every two, three weeks. Anytime there's like, you know, bad weather and stuff. Um, my boy Jack lets me come up here, throw a pen, just work out and stuff, you know. I mean, I was always pretty good, but so I, was, I was really small growing up. So I was, physically I was kind of behind. But uh, I think just working hard in the weight room Kind of building my body and just catching up physically really helped separate myself. What'd you focus on in the weight room? Uh, a lot of things, just staying balanced, uh, getting more powerful, more explosive, just being a better athlete overall. All right, ready? Hey, right at his chest. Ready? May 14, 2010. It's the day I moved from Korea to Canada when I was five years old. My little brother, he's camera shy. I'm not camera shy. I just like to smile a lot. Okay. <laughs> How'd that feel? Felt good. Felt like it was, it was a pretty good pen, you know, just going over the stuff. Alright. Oh, we're gonna get some ground balls. Because everybody forgets I'm a two way hero. Primary infield with pitcher second. Do you know I know that?
got done, finished with some infill work. I got some throwing done. I'm about to go uh, meet with Dr. Winfield and get, get our arms right. Let's go. Well, all right, you feeling anything? Uh, no, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good. Just, uh, I'm just a little sore, a little tight right here, but that's about it. Okay, we'll pop through here. So when we do this, it's probably gonna turn really red on him and maybe bruise a little. And essentially what that's doing is loosening up his forearm. And let's have you sit up tall here. No problem, sweet. So I'll have you put your hand on the table like that. So yeah, as we start to see this line kind of form, that's showing us where he just got a little inflammation. We're just gonna help flesh that out. Feeling okay, boss? Mm -hmm. Well, you know I'm used to this. Right? <laughs> Usually I tell people to find their happy place while we're doing this, but he seems to be doing okay. Yeah. All right, and then if you don't mind, I'll have you move your shirt. We'll get your shoulders. This one kind of hurts. When I have this one done on me, I'm ready to like fight somebody. <laughs> this is to help him move easier. And in doing so, it's gonna help free his arm up essentially decrease the amount of injuries we're gonna get and then increase how hard he can throw. And when I tell people that way, they're like, where's the bad part? This guy's a goat. Hey, I appreciate that, man. Deep breath here, buddy. Yeah. And out. It's a pro guy, right? Yeah. Yeah. The Arizona coach is a pro guy. Oh, yeah. Deep breath here. And out. There you go. Feeling good. Dr. Winfield always gets me right, you know? Keeps me healthy. Yeah, that'll be a solid one. There we go. All right, and I think we're good there, buddy. Yes, sir, thank you. Anything else, buddy? All right. That's awesome. We're at the facility, about to get a lift in. About to go hit. Kind of like the end of our day from a training, training standpoint. Might need to stretch for a while. My boy Paul right here. Yo, coach, coach, coach. Hey, what's going on? Say hi to the camera. Hey, how's it going? You doing all right? Yeah, yeah. You get your work in today? Yeah, that's my guy right here. Yeah. Puts in work every day. It's all about a routine for this one. We've got all the talent, but this is the man right here. Heck yeah. Get a good workout in today? Yes, sir. About to go hit now. Sounds good. All right, little bat tour. These are all Bond bats. Shout out to Bond bats for hooking me up. It's a Korean company. We got the one hand trainer here. And after this, I usually go to uh, the flat bat, which we hit like foam balls with, to stay on plane and make square contact. And then we usually go to this one right here. It's a pink skinny bat trainer. It's just working on like hand-eye coordination and stuff like that. And then we go to the hand-loaded and end-loaded um, trainer right here, which just works on bat speed and bat control. And then, this is my gamer. I'm gonna hit with this today, but it's the nicest bat I've had so far, right here. It's got my name in Korean as well. You know, if, the, if it's machines up on high velo, it's, it's hard to hit with bad movement patterns. We try to stay clean and try to stay as efficient as possible. It's kinda, that's kind of it. I'm getting, I'm rolling over right now. It's not good. Um, it's to literally not roll over. So like, stay through the ball and not, you know, 
Roll over, hit top string, ground ball to short. Hitting with the skinny bat. Get some real balls, you know. See, this is my hitting coach right here. Yeah. My little brother is a PO. I'm not a PO. I get hit. I shit from my high school. All right, we'll start T work. What's going on, man? Uh, how's your arm? I mean, loose, I guess. Loose. Yeah. What, uh, when did you, you guys next game? I just went to the Velo Dog. You did? He scraped me. Like, look at this. Yeah, he took a ball and what? Lactic acid and all that stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. He scraped everything. Yeah. It's good. It's a good kind it's of pain, you know? Yeah. It's not even painful, to be honest. It's with that metal thing, right? Yeah. 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 Actually, it like, feels good. You put like nice. cream on it and like yeah. scrape it. When's y'all's next game, MJ? Huh? No idea. I think repeating your swing consistently and just being athletic, you know, in the box. You don't want to get stiff. Just want to be an athlete in the box, adjust the pitches. There's a lot that goes on. Is there anything you think about when you're in the, the box room? Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, I try to beat the ball to the spot, so I don't want to let the pitcher attack me. I want to attack the ball. So I don't let it get you know too deep. So I try to get it out front. Um, I still adjust the curveball and off speed, but definitely just stay on time for the fastball and get ready to attack early. Oh my God, it's cold. It's freezing out here. It's not even cold. It's not even. Cold. <laughs> We're going to Globe Life Stadium. Uh, we're gonna go watch Oklahoma play Michigan. You know, not a big fan of both teams, but baseball is baseball, so we're gonna go watch some baseball. Okay. 92, what's that, what was the question? What's your favorite part about watching college baseball? Um. Just kind of representing your school. It's kind of different from professional team. I guess like the, the passion for the players, how they play, it's, it's fun to watch. Start barreling balls because no one's hitting, it, hitting good right now. It's a little chilly out. It's a little chilly out. But yeah, the food was good. I'm full now. I'm full right now. They're a big meal. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright, to cap off a good, a good day of hard work, we're at McDonald's. About to get two strawberry milkshake, medium sized. There's an order right here. Hello? Hello? Not you. Oh Two strawberry milk 
chicks medium. <laughs> yeah, we're doing it. <laughs> I bet you order. No, you order. Order. <laughs> you order. I can't order. It's too funny, dude. <laughs> May I have two strawberry milkshakes, medium sized? Just a moment, I'll be right with you. Alright, thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. That's the worst order I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> You sold that. Hey, it's why we don't hang out with Minjay, bro. You sold. Dude, so out of pocket. Who started laughing first? It was you. <laughs> you started laughing first. Oh my gosh. This man just embarrassed himself. <laughs>